What is up everybody, Aaron here, Curls on the Rack, back again with another video, and this video in particular is for those of us who have a pulley system, not necessarily the one I have here, this one right here is the slinger uh, pulled down, and then I have the attachment down here, I can't zoom out wide enough so you can see it all, but you'll see in a minute. Uh, anyways, the ground up, so I can either go down or I can go up. Now, a little background, before I got this, I had the Titan Fitness um, tower that went to the wall and the cool thing about that one is the fact that you have a pop pin and a pole that goes down so you can adjust the pulley for wherever you want to pull from you want to go high up there you want to go medium low wherever you want you have the option to do that and the reason I upgraded is this is a better you know high-end unit it's smoother the rollers don't give out the rollers kind of gave out on that one so I made the decision to switch even though I knew that I'd be giving up that option to be able to have a selector switch up and down the pole so I've been struggling with that for a while and I'll show you why it doesn't really work on this one even though the bottom portion can be put anywhere you want on this first before I show you the fix Okay, so let's say for example, I uh, wanna do some just from the middle cable crossovers. I had the option to grab this guy and put it up, you know, about mid height here, and I, I can pin it, right? Maybe I can pin it. Anyways, pin it to the rack, and then take this and if you pretend that I have a attachment on here, I know you cannot see me because I'm way across the garage and uh, that's the other issue with this. If you're you know, tight on space, you gotta go all the way to the other side of the room. But if I pull, I gotta stop there. I can't even get full range of motion because this piece goes through the roller and uh, will jam up. A bit. So that's not really a viable option even though you can move this piece. And so I've been racking my brain with how the heck am I going to, you know, maybe make something that slides up and down? But if you do that, you're going to need a second set of rollers. It doesn't work with this kind of system. You need one that counterbalances it so if I slide up, this cable doesn't get longer. It kind of rotates down there. So it's really not going to work since this is a single cable here on this stack. So I was popping around on Instagram a little bit, and there was a guy, he had an option, and I'll link him down below here in the uh, description. Uh, he actually has some pretty cool stuff. You might want to check him out. But what he did was he put a carabiner at the bottom here. And then he took this cable, went all the way down, made it longer. He attached another cable. And then he clipped it down there. And then he had a roller that he put on here with a handle. So essentially, when, he, when you're pulling on it, pretend this isn't here, or let me get it out of the way. When you're pulling it, you can do anywhere you want because the roller will allow you to go up and down. Well, I saw that and I said, that's pretty cool, but the problem with that option is the fact that you're always going to be pulling this direction. So let's say I was doing a crossover. Well, the weight is still going to be coming this way. It's not going to be coming straight across because that doesn't rotate at the bottom. So this is what I came up with going off of that idea to make it a little bit better and it works great. So the first step is to go ahead and attach this as low as it's going to go on the post, right? That's where I had it. After you do that, you can get a chain. Now, I went to Home Depot today and I measured. It's 52 inches from the top of that shackle all the way down to where this cable reaches right here with a carabiner, 52 inches. I got this piece of chain for $10 at Home Depot. So the next step is to go ahead and clip this here and then run this to the top, okay? So once you have that there, if you'll notice, I got little carabiners, they cost two bucks. By the way, this chain is rated at 550 pounds, so it's going to be fine for any kind of weight you're pulling, unless you're, I mean, I don't know who you are, but it's a lot of weight. Anyways, what I did was I just put the carabiners all in the spots that I thought I wanted to pull from. Now I have the option to add any attachment 
So let's say, for example, I wanted to do like a cable crossover. Now, the difference is, with this setup, is I am going to be using that roller and that roller at the same time. So when I do my crossover, it's pulling from the middle. It's rotating that roller down there and up. And it's also, if you're pulling down slightly, using the top roller as well. So it's a lot smoother. And then I can easily move this guy. Say I wanted to go and do, uh, you know, curls. Then you're just going to be sort of using the bottom roller. Okay? So then let's say I want to go to the top and I want to do some tricep extensions. Well, I got to do is click this on here and I can keep this chain on here all the time. It doesn't really get in the way of any of my other movements. And uh, just add my accessory and you're good to go. Now I know what you're thinking. I got the slinger, Aaron, but I do not have this bottom portion. Am I still going to be able to do this? The answer is yes, you are still going to be able to do this if you have any kind of shackle that goes on your upright. If you have a shackle with a clip and you go ahead and get one of these guys, five bucks, rated at uh, 650 pounds, you can throw this on there in the place of this unit right here and do the exact same thing. Throw your cable through here, you got the same exact setup. Well guys, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you can take some of this information and throw it into your garage gym. Uh, I know I'm gonna be utilizing this a lot. I really like the fact that I'm gonna be able to do these and it's gonna be a lot simpler. And I don't even have to move this thing up and down the rack. So I'm excited. Uh, and on the next video, I will be getting to the tadpole build that I put on Instagram. Uh, I appreciate everybody liking that and I will show you guys exactly how to make it uh, when I get around to it. So uh, till next time guys, peace.